Hi guys, it's Greg, and in this video I want to talk about a new software available to both new and old HostGator customers called Optimized WordPress, or Optimized WP for short. This is a new way of building or just managing your WordPress site or blog, and you would use it if you want to take advantage of speed, security, and scalability in a new and exciting environment. All right. So this is a very new software, as I said. I think it will be around for a while and might change the HostGator uh, and WordPress community specifically in some pretty big ways. So just follow through and check out the screenshots and the uh, features I'll show you. And don't worry if you don't gather everything because, like I said, I think this will be around for a while. Right now I'm going to my HostGator customer portal and the reason I'm going to log in here is because Optimized WordPress is all about managed WordPress hosting and the way that it's managed is through our customer portal instead of through the cPanel area which has been the process for 5, 10, I can't even count how many years. cPanel is a great tool in my opinion but it really at the end of the day is a developer's tool and I know it scared a few new WordPressers away so boom this should be one uh, problem solved by having everything in this customer portal environment alright if we walk around my customer portal here we can see profile settings email packages generally um, different features that we should all probably look at a little more and uh, you know have uh, tied down in our mind at least because having a website active is such an important um, aspect of our businesses we need to know these things but the most important part of this video takes place in the hosting tab alright so if we go to hosting we can now go to a new area we can see that now we have a different screen which we might not have seen which is the optimized wordpress dashboard alright so right now i have two optimized wordpress sites and by clicking the gear icon we can take advantage of what optimized wordpress provides us alright so back at hostgator if we click optimize wordpress we can see how to order it which is very much the same as just ordering normal web hosting all right, you just choose a plan. So in this case, you can just choose a optimized WordPress plan if you want. And also, this button is right on the home page. All right, so I won't walk through all this uh, text because that's the point of the video is to kind of show you instead of reading through. But um, I right now have the business plan for Optimized WordPress, which HostGator recommends. And that allows five different WordPress sites or blogs, same software, that are powered by Optimized WordPress. All right. So the um, downside is a little bit larger price. A basic um, hatchling plan in hosting costs a little bit less than this, maybe from 7 to 10 a month whereas the um, Optimized WordPress will cost a little bit more and I'll show you what you get uh, right now. Alright, so I have two out of my five sites created. I can have five with this middle uh, column right here. You can also click these little drop downs to learn more. And to show you the increased speed, security, and simplicity, I'm actually just going to create another blog because I have three left that I can make and I'm gonna set up an address for an existing website I run called naraiguy.com I'm just gonna call it naraiguy this is a nickname site that hosts uh, dummy websites for other YouTube videos and now I'm just gonna click add blog and have to remove the prefix right there um, and then I'm gonna add blog again but first I'm gonna tell you that when you create a site with optimized WordPress 
if you create a domain name without an extension it will send all your visitors to this address all right so what you want to do is create the www site www rather three of them because then the short domain will redirect to the long domain and the longer domain name is what you want people to see it's what people are uh, the most used to these days and in, in the case of things like Facebook or you know Twitter something like that actually Twitter is the short domain so that parts up to you but this is important um, and will keep something you know looking like this if you have it or don't so I'm gonna add blog and I'm gonna let HostGator set my blog up all right and I'll be notified when it's ready in the meanwhile I'm gonna walk you through the features of optimized WordPress all right so let's hop into the WordPress package for made to blog if we click the manage WordPress button it will redirect us right to our site and the nice thing is it logs us in right away so one thing you don't have to worry about is having lots of WordPress passwords or having someone hack into your WordPress site as has been somewhat common for WordPress users in the past someone will hack into the uh, the URL that comes when you type in this and you get that WordPress login screen this sort of screen right here is more prone to hacks way more so than it would be to go right through your HostGator uh, customer portal because no one would ever really know to do that. Alright, so this is just a basic WordPress site that I have to work on for my newest project and this will obviously be amazing once it's ready. Alright, and here's the standard WordPress dashboard. So within the dashboard, the optimized WordPress software comes with some plugins. All right, it comes with a new, uh, stronger purge, which is useful for clearing the cache and getting rid of any old changes on the site that we want to um, not show anymore. If you want to update your site really quickly, this is useful. And a really cool feature, probably my favorite, is the Google Analytics dashboard which is designed by this fellow right here, Alan Marku, and I'm going to talk about that more in the future. But this is great for tracking your statistics and having everything visible in one place for you as opposed to having to go into Google Analytics itself and figure out how to use uh, all that. So that's a huge improvement. and one I'm excited to show you more about in the future. If we click cache settings, we get this new customer portal screen where we can um, enable our cache or flush it or change how long the cache sits on our site. All right, so um, let's go back to our WordPress manager. If we click on email accounts, we see a new and improved way of adding custom emails for your site and those emails can be created as um, extensions to your domain name which is really awesome it looks like that www snuck in there uh, incorrectly so I'll have to figure out what's up with that but this is a great tool to set up your info email or maybe your support email or something informal for a business card like hello you can automatically set a quota for your inbox and then create the password here for your account and HostGator will give you a brand new inbox to receive emails to your new address and then using uh, my latest tutorial you can actually sync that email address with something like your Gmail so you can use that address from Gmail pretty cool alright moving along we can see that we also have a delete WordPress install area so um, Right here on Dear Blogger, I actually uh, don't want this one live right now, so I could delete it right there, right there, just by clicking delete, and uh, that would do the job. If you um, mess up anything with your WordPress site and you want to start fresh, start anew, this is a simple solution. You can just delete and then reinstall it. 
and of course installing WordPress once you have a hosting account is free it's free software and then the last two sections are just different accounts that you actually get um, when you sign up for optimized WordPress you'll get a code guard account see this redirects us to my new code guard profile which is very useful for backups if you're concerned about your site losing information or going down or getting hacked or something like that there's a daily backup provided and site lock is um, sort of in the works right now so we'll talk about that more in the future but that is a useful tool for the security edition all right, as promised, this would be uh, quick and simple. So I want to show you that I have a new WordPress installed right here, hopefully. And click on my domain name for naraiguy.com. Information which would also be sent to my email. And this page is actually not found because my domain name, naraiguy.com, which I got from GoDaddy, is actually pointed at my Baby Planet HostGator, all right, and not at my managed WordPress plan which has a different set of name servers. So that brings you to my final point which is that if you are a HostGator customer already with a WordPress site and you want to keep it intact but try out Optimize WordPress you can set up an account with Optimize WordPress and then go ahead and tell the HostGator support chat which you can find at HostGator in the upper right corner tell them to migrate your content over to your new Optimize WordPress so they'll then do that for free and you can log into wherever your domain name is registered and point it at your optimized WordPress account and then start managing a new WordPress while also leaving your old website intact hope that makes sense so you can use optimized WordPress if you're using WordPress already you just have to create an account and then have HostGator migrate your content which they'll do for free and then you point your name servers at a new place alright something like that and if you got your domain name with HostGator just tell them that you did that and they'll make the domain name go to the right place um, all on their end with uh, a less hands-on process for you because that's the name of the game right here but as we can see my WordPress install is completely ready and if I pointed those name servers in the right location then uh, we could operate this new site Great, so I hope you enjoyed this quick demo on HostGator's exciting new managed WordPress, managed WordPress hosting environment. Like I said, I think this is going to be a big uh, game changer for the WordPress community, and I'm happy to be the one to show you first. All right, let me know any questions in the comments as usual, and have a good day.